since we know whenever we, per we want to perform statistical analysis to any data, we have two various types of statistical methodologies. The first one are descriptive statistics and the other are inferential statistics. Whereas inferential statistics has, has two major components. One of the very important component is the estimation. Where estimation talks about the process of estimating the values for the population from the sample. In this module, we will be talking about the estimation. But before going this, a quick rundown on the statistical inference. That the statistical inference is a procedure by which we reach a conclusion about the population on the basis of information obtained in a sample drawn from that specific population. There are a few other important definitions. The parameter is any value that we obtain after studying the overall population, which are the true values and they stay constant. Whereas the statistic it is any value that we obtain after studying a representative sample from the population. Sample statistics are often random variables and they do vary from sample to sample. Even if we draw a various sample from the same population, our sample can give us various answers. And we have observed in sampling distributions that when a various samples give us the same answer, the various answers, even if they were coming from the same population, the process of estimation entails calculating from the data of a sample some statistics that is offered as an approximation of the corresponding parameters of the population from which the sample is drawn. The rationale behind the procedure of estimation is in the health sciences field rest on the assumption that the worker in these fields have an interest in the parameter such as means, proportions, and variances of the population. But one should understand that we cannot always study the population to observe the value of the parameter. Therefore, we always have to rely on sample survey. And those sample surveys always give us sample statistics. Hence, take an example that suppose a physician in a general hospital is interested in the mean age of the patients admitted to his hospital during a given year. He may consider it too expensive to go through all the records of all the patients and reach his conclusion. Moreover, it is also a time-consuming effort. Hence, he elects to examine a sample of the records from which he can compute an estimate of the mean age of the patients admitted. Now, estimator is a rule or formula that we use to obtain an estimate of the population using the information coming from the sample. It could be mean, it could be proportion or variance. And one can use some other estimators as well. In many cases, a parameter may be estimated by more than one estimators, like one can use sample median to estimate the, the population mean. The other important measure in the process of estimation is estimate. Whereas estimate is a value that we obtain using an appropriate estimator. When we are working with the data, estimate will be a numeric value that we use, that we obtain after using a specific estimator which work as, as a formula or a rule. Whereas this whole process of obtaining an estimate is called estimation. In statistics, we use various methods of estimation. And with the advent of numerical optimization and various other algorithms for estimations, now we have broader methods for, of estimation. But the most commonly used estimation methodologies by statisticians are method of moments, least square estimation, and maximum likelihood estimations. 
though we will be talking about, we will be using these terminologies in the future, but the complete in length, in depth knowledge is beyond the scope of this course. And when we talk about the estimates, estimates are of two types. One are called point estimates and other are interval estimates. A point estimate is a single numeric value used to estimate the corresponding population parameter. And the other is interval estimation and it has by its name, it will be talking about some interval that consists of two numeric values defining a range of values with a specified degree of confidence most likely include the parameter being estimated at. The other important definition are about the population. When we are conducting studies, we talk about the population, but sometimes population is too big and we cannot, the tar, we cannot study the whole thing. Therefore, we refine our population to a study population. Let's say if someone wants to observe the occurrence of coronary heart disease in Pakistan, the population will be all individuals with CHD. But since we cannot study all individuals or we cannot go to all the, all the length and widths of Pakistan to collect the sample, what we do is we will simply stick in one hospital or one city. Now here, the people of CHD in that one specific city, let's say Lahore, are going to be our target population. Because that is the population about which one wishes to make an inference. And the other population is going to be the sampled population. That within Lahore, one might be observing the sample from a one specific hospital. Let's say Punjab Institute of Cardiology. Then the sample population is the population from which one actually draws a sample. So the population of Pakistan with CHD will be considered as a larger population, whereas the population of patients with CHD in Lahore will be called as the target population and the population of CHD coming from the Punjab Institute of Cardiology is our sampled population because that's where we are eventually going to take a sample. There are a few properties of good estimator that our estimator should be unbiased. It should be efficient. It should be sufficient and it should be consistent. And there are a few more other properties of a good estimator. A good estimator will help us to draw an effective inference from a sample for the population. Many estimators follow all the attributes of a good point estimator. In many instances, they have asymptotic properties, which are true only when the sample is large. Thank you.